What do you want? Name's Muggs. Rostin Muggs. Need your help in a grave matter. What's this grave matter? I came here on business. Sadly, just there across the river. Toward the bridge's end, I was attacked. Smashed a bottle of the finest dwarven spirit on the bugger's skull. But the robbery was still a partial success. Tell me what you want already, and be brief. Thief ran off with my documents. Very important documents. I need you to get it back for me. It'll cost you. I don't work for free. That I know. Since the dawn of time, no witcher's lifted a finger without pay. I've a smatter in the coin in the soles of my boots. Return the documents, and it's yours. Fine. See what I can do. Might be my last chance. Out ideas if this don't work. No loitering round here. So fast, Roach. Seems everything's ready. Aye. As soon as we catch sight of them, we'll block the road against the whole unit if need be. And, uh, you, you know, I think it's a great plan all round, uh, and I'm always glad to help. And uh, it's not like I'm not eager to crack some holier than thou bugger skulls, but. Seeing as we've got a Doppler, wouldn't it have been easier to have him release Dandelion and, and, and be done with it? Too suspicious. Think about it. Menga disappears, then shows up with a scar on his face to release Dandelion? Uh, I suppose you're right. Priscilla, what are you doing here? Some child brought a note from Dudu. The convoy will leave at dawn. May I stay with you? I can't stand it. Sitting at home, worrying about Dandelion. Never fear, my dear. You'll get your warbler back. Just hope he's got his... Damn it! Gotta watch the rhymes in the presence of a lady. Go back to town. Please, I shan't be any trouble. Oh, come on, Geralt. Leave it go. Let her stay. Look at her. Oh, weepy-eyed. Like my mudsy when his guts knotted up. Fine, she can stay. On one condition. I know. As soon as the fighting starts, I'm to stand at a distance. Not much happening just yet. And there may be some time before it does. Well, how about a game of Gwent? Don't really feel like it. You two play. Yeah, all right. You know the basics, that's clear. Now we can play for real. <laughs> They're coming! They're coming now! Priscilla, stay here.
dandelion. Damn it. Geralt, go after him. Leave these here, Pierre. <laughs> Lost him. Gotta look for tracks. Rope through here. are deep. Horse was carrying a heavy load. Sheet. The day, my bloom, when you recall this heart you rent through cruel denial, words of doom. <laughs> Must have broken his heart to part with that little ditty.
damn it. Followed the wrong trail. Gotta look for a set of single hoof marks. Heavily laden horse. Trot straight to me soon as I whistle. Anyone right through here? Two men. One slung over the saddle like a sack. Oh, why? Something of the kind dashed by. Turned left there. But twere a wench you were carrying, swearing on me head, squealing and wailing so. A day like all others. Looks like it might have started limping. What is it? You tell me! One of them hunters barged into our hut, turned us out where we could so much as fart in protest. There another man with him, tall, dark-haired? Aye, jabbering the whole time. Hmm, dandelion. So, hunters barricaded himself inside? There another way in? Truth be told, there is. Want to get rid of this hunter or not? Honest? We'd see you all gone. But he'll do for a start. Here, the key. Cellar door in the back. Thanks. How can I be sure that you won't try anything? I'll go with you. It's not like I really have a choice now, do I? And there'll be no trickery along the way. I could really you not like a fat end to your life. Yeah, but I also realize you won't. My corpse is worth nothing to you, whereas a lie, like I said, a hundred gold ingots. One hundred gold ingots. No more, no less. Or I'm not Julian Alfred's hair-flap by Count the Letton Hole. Right, Count. Come on. Everybody calls you Dandelion. That, my friend, is what we call an assumed identity. Can't expect me to reveal my full title to every goitered idiot I run across. Now, <laughs> unbind. You've made a wise choice. 
very wise. Might not be more than Sergeant today, but tomorrow. Quiet. Geralt, must you ruin everything? I had him just where I wanted him. Ah, uh, <laughs> it is good to see you, friend. Been a while since you were last in Novigrad. What's... Come on, we'll talk outside. Priscilla! What are you doing here? You all right? You have me worried sick. Dandelion, you rascal! Got this lass to thank for his racing after you. She chivied and chivied. Shame you arrived too late to see us hoodwink that hunter. I had a plan all set, but then Geralt! Dandelion, I need to ask you something. It's important, so focus. Where's Siri? Siri? I thought, seeing how you're here, you haven't seen her? I'm... Well, I don't know where she is. I know you tried to help her. Gotta say, I'm having trouble understanding why you went to Horson Jr. of all people. No one else came to mind. Maybe, given more time, I'd have done things differently, but Siri said the Wild Hunt was on her tail. Horson seemed pretty harmless by comparison. Something went wrong. So you've heard everything. I hope you're not mad. You can't be. My plan was perfect. Until we put it in motion. How was I supposed to know Manga was after Doo-Doo? Heard enough about your plan. Need to know what happened to Siri now. When did you last see her? We were on Temple Isle, running from Horson's men. Dandelion! 
Siri. Siri? Damn it. Arrest that man. Ah, what an adventure. One minute we were pulling off the heist of the century, the next we were prey. A pack of hunters on our tail. Yeah, a splendid story, but I think I've had my fill of this boasting. Come, Zoltan. We must convince the halflings they saw nothing at all. Gave me enough material for a volume of ballads. And this one will sell like hotcakes. Right. Best bits when the guard draped you over his saddle like a sack of corn. Stands to make you a fortune. Time will tell. You're getting to be grumpy in your old age. I'm just... worried. About who? Siri? Have a little faith, Geralt. You have any idea how she fights? The girl can take care of herself, believe me. Anyway, she's got to come back for that little box. The trinket that started it all. Mean this? You get it from Horson? Whoa, Siri will be overjoyed. Horson, on the other hand, has got to be pretty furious. Horson's dead. Ooh, guess you're no stranger to fury either. Well, I can't say I regret the man's abrupt passing. Deserved it as much as he deserved that awkward nickname. What about our old friend, Siggy Ruven? Been to see him yet? He's fine. Oh, that's too bad. Because there's a good chance he's furious with me. Did Siri ever tell you what this is? And Horson, why'd she go to him with it? She went to Horson because I took her there. Could have guessed that was your idea. What? Her magic bauble was broken. Horson had access to the mages who could fix it. Besides, she needed help deciphering a curse. It's incantation. What was Ciri's interest in this curse? Did she want to cast it or lift it, she tell you? She wasn't all that willing to talk about it. I didn't want to pry. The one time when it might have been useful. But I'm almost positive she meant to lift it. Off who? What? Or was it about her directly? No. I don't think so. I mean, she didn't look cursed. But boy, was she in a hurry. Know any more about the curse? Something specific, a detail, anything? Hmm. Well, I know the words. You're kidding. No, they were elven. Siri was constantly repeating them to herself. Probably not to forget. Went like this. Vafail Elaine, Kiadmil Foli. Gladiv Dorn Ep Tenaid, Bundro Isne Iakas. Doesn't mean a thing to me. Even less to me. Damn it, that's just not enough. Siri say anything else? Didn't say much at all, to be honest. Geralt, she's no longer that little girl who ran around Kaer Morin. Sure, she's still impulsive, alive, but she's also stubborn and sulky. <laughs> Apple didn't fall far from the tree, let me tell you. Right. She slipped away again. I was so close. Hmm. She came here from Velen. Somebody there helped her, apparently. Maybe she went back. Doubt it. Talk to the Baron there. He's the one helped Siri. Said she rode off to Novigrad to look for Yen and me. And Yen's in Skellige, looking into traces she thinks Siri left behind there. So... Skellige? Skellige. You two have chatted enough. Now it's my turn to talk to Dandelion. And I'll gladly have a go at him when you're done. Let's get back to the Rosemary in time. Well, I've certainly had my share of excitement for one day. A juicy roast in a soft bed with fluffy pillows. I think that's the least I'm owed. 
We haven't seen each other, talked in ages. Consider dropping by if you're in the area. I'm sure to be by sometime soon. I'll hold you to that, Geralt. See you soon. And thanks again for today. Nothing really. Got oodles of them. <laughs> Just uh, if you wouldn't mind not mentioning where you got it. All right. All right. Farewell. Just be wary of the other side of it. One false move and you could be wrong. Hey there. March back in there. Ooh. Commander, it's full of monsters and traps. We've dragged out four. Scram for a little dozen my corpses patience. still. Having trouble? Nothing fucking but. One plowing trouble after the other. And what's it to you? Who are you? Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. Radovid sent me. No, oh, it's you. I've been waiting for you. Don't exactly sound delighted. Would you expect us to? We've done half the work. Now you show up and take all the glory. Word was you hadn't been able to get inside. Tell yesterday when we found this. Doesn't look like much, but he's got power of some sort. Opens the entrance. Good work. Saved me some time. We're thrilled.
What can I expect to find inside? Everything. Anything. It's an old elven temple. The witch Isleheart turned into her hideout. Look at him. Fell into some magic trap. Then monsters attacked him. Barely got out alive. Any of your men still down there? A dozen or so went in. They's all that came out. Rest are probably dead. Think Philip is still inside? That we don't know. Only certain thing is she was there at some point. Certain? How's that? We've been after her since Loch Muin. Poking out her eyes weren't enough. Radovid should have gutted her there and then. As it is, she turned into an owl and fled. Flew across Kedwin and Redania, then tucked herself away here. Time I saw her, Philip is still in there. Don't count on anyone going in to retrieve your corpse. 